And this is where all the fridges come to die. I can't believe how many <laughs> condenser fridges are here. I just can't. Look at them. There's mine just down there. I've just poked mine down there by the red cone. And uh, you can see them all, won't it? Look, look how many there is. There you go. That's just to sort of say to people that I have disposed of it uh, in the waste disposal point at uh, Tamworth Water Council. Cheers, folks. Right, morning all, and um, we're in a place uh, in Amington where I come from uh, originally. Let's zoom back out a bit, and this is the uh, the green, and with some uh, lovely horse chestnuts and uh, beech nuts, uh, beech trees, and uh, this was from. Uh, just get into the gate. This church is called St. Editor's and um, as far as I'm aware of, um, as he locks the gate, been here a few times and um, it's probably locked up so I'm not going to even try and get in. Um, but a lot of the stained glass wi windows was uh, I think Edward's, uh, Edward Byrne Jones and um, he was from one of the um, the pre raphaelites 19th century with William Morris and uh, Edward Burns Jones um, he's the one who designed the stained glass windows plus in St Birmingham, St Martins and the Bull Ring uh, St Martin, I think the Cathedral in Birmingham and St Martins the grass is a bit uneven so I should be careful um, and as you can see about 1860 I think the church is approximately um, and as I says, it's the St. Editor's Hamilton and St. Editor's in the town, uh, which is a massive, great big church. Um, as you can see, we're all going to see if we can get a bit of drone footage. But as I says, there's uh, supposed to be an odd picket in here at the moment. Um, I think I can walk all the way around it, hopefully. There's some, the cemetery is across the way. And um, um, beware, church has an alarm. Um, oops, just watching when I'm walking. So you can't really get the full effect of um, the church as I'm just walking round it. So I'll see if I can get a bit of drone footage in a second. Um, somebody's cutting the grass. So it's not a very big church. Uh, but it's still got a nice bit of history to it, so it's nice inside. But I dare say it's probably a bit closed anyway. So, but the cemetery is across the other side of the road, and um, as you can see, there you go, the doors and stuff. Uh, so, a bit of wind. Okay, I'll see what we can come across in a second. A bit of the Davies clan there, in love mem memory of Anne. Wife of T. Davis, in loving memory of Anne, William Davis, in loving memory of William Davis. There you go. St. Editor's Church, Town Amington.